And the client approached me um, with the intention of designing and conceptualizing a new look and feel for the outside of their, their new store, um, which is to be opened before the festive season. Um, I took the initial brief from the client, understanding the brand concepts that they were looking for. We identified that the client wanted to keep elements of the historic retail trading that was experienced specifically in the Indian community, but bring a new look and feel and a new fresh vibe um, to this new store. I then took this brief and I went through to Lee at Lanford Agencies and discussed the brief with them, outlining exactly what the client was looking for. And from there, I've left uh, it in Lee's capable hands to come up with a new exciting brand identity that we could present to the client. After receiving the brief uh, from the client, we decided to then go ahead and do what we do best, and that's our design. Uh, we had 36 panels to uh, use two different types of materials, Contravision and a, a non-see-through material. The Contravision went on to the lower panels and the non-see-through material went on to the higher panels. So the design was actually very nice. Um, we handled it quite well after back and forth uh, for the client approval. Uh, we eventually came out with a nice trendy looking shop, upmarket quality using uh, certain products that they have in the shop, but not making it look like your normal shop where they put a whole bunch of products on it, but really nice and trendy. From the design going to print, we used two different types of material, Contravision and a solid uh, type of printing onto a solid vinyl. Uh, the Contravision went onto the lower side of the panels and the solid vinyl went onto the top side of the panels. The uh, reason why we use Contravision is so that while you're inside the shop you can still look out. From obviously a safety aspect as well as it brings in a certain amount of light as well. Two different types of materials, two different types of substrates allowed us to use two different printers as we didn't have to get the uh, RGB colours correctly, the profiles. So we were allowed to play around with the two different types of machines. Part of the design, uh, what we like to do is give a border. Uh, the border is normally a little bit bigger than the actual design that allows the uh, application to go a lot easier. Uh, we also title the top panels 1 through 36 panels, so it was obviously 1 through to 36. The installers can then read exactly where it needs to go. They do get a picture of the overall uh, end result, but it allows them to read what panel it is and it's easier for them to line up with the border. Due to the reason why we uh, laid out all the panels uh, was so that I could actually put it out on the floor in front of the panels, top and bottom. I remember we were using two different substrates, so um, it was quite easy to identify which was the contravision and which was a solid material. The application itself was a dry application, not a wet application. So it was a non-windy day, which was beautiful, and the application went through absolutely seamlessly due to the fact that we had prepared everything prior.
customer is absolutely ecstatic with the final product. It came out beautiful. Um, we are now going to be branding a few items in the shop to the same feel and look as the outside. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.